So hello, I'm here at the Stodoła Club in Warsaw with Brandon and with Dan from Atreyu. It's really great to see you. Thank you, yeah. great to be here. Yeah, thanks for having us. How do you feel today? Fantastic. This is our first time ever in Poland. I feel great. Our name sounds fantastic with your accent, by the way. Yeah, it's very it's nice. How am I supposed to say it? No, it sounds better than usual. Yeah, it sounds better. Atreyu, it's very, it sounds, it sounds nice. It's nice, yeah. Nice. Oh, so uh, I hope you got some sleep on your day off before Warsaw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A Absolutely. little bit, just enough. Yeah, you don't want to go too much, but just enough. Yeah, yeah just enough. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a couple of months after the tour with Motionless in White, mm -hmm. uh, Ice Nine Kills, and the Black Bay Brights. And uh, how was the American part of, of your tour? It's incredible. I mean, it, that tour was such a kind of phenomenon, and to be part of that was crazy. I mean, n none of the bands on that tour are able to play to that many people alone. So the fact that like those bands mm -hmm. come together and play such huge shows is, is a, a huge statement for just like our genre and our music scene in the states um so it was, it was awesome to be a part of it massive massive mm -hmm. yeah it was exciting too because we weren't originally supposed to be on it we were supposed to be done for the rest of the year oh, really? and then last minute we got this offer to do that tour and we're like oh hell yeah we'll do that that's yeah. incredible so uh it really ended our year off really nicely and uh set us up nicely for this tour mm -hmm. yeah and uh, you're um currently on the european tour obviously and it's uh the Four, fourth show to another yeah. tonight, yeah? So yeah. Fourth show, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fourth show. How do you show. feel after those three previous shows? Great. Okay. I mean, they've been. this tour has been incredible. The whole thing's been sold out so far, so I mean, can't ask for more than that. Can't really complain, you know? Yeah. You come to a bunch of places, especially like we've never been, we've never been to Poland, so to come play for the first time to a sold out show, like, doesn't get better than that. I'm happy to, to see you when you have your first show in Poland. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, your latest single, Drowning, uh, is out and it's a killer song. Thank you. Uh, I love it. Thank you. Uh, but I know the songs are uh, pretty uh, tough. Uh, they're, they're telling about uh, struggling with depression. And uh, why did you decide to uh, share your feelings in, in that way? I think in our band, that's something we've kind of sort of internally felt about our own waves and, and the ways we deal with depression or anxiety or any of these kind of feelings is that we're very much a band that, that talks and, and talks about our feelings and talks about things that we're going through with each other. Um, I don't think it was always like that, but more recently it very much is. And I think just even just having the, the comfortability to just say how you feel is a huge thing for yeah. anxiety or depression to just get it out of you. Mm -hmm. um, and I think especially men don't always feel that they can talk about those things mm -hmm. and you know maybe it, people think it brings a sense of weakness or something like that but it's not it's just something that's normal with men too and mm -hmm. uh, with everyone so it's just kind of making it okay and comfortable to talk about not that we're the ones making it okay but it's just us trying to further that that kind of thought yeah i mean so many people almost everybody in one way or another feels these feelings of depression or anxiety things as such at some point in their life whether it be over and over again or even just here and there but uh it's such a relatable topic that we felt it was something that worth singing about and letting people know that they're they're not alone mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So what would be your uh, message to people that are battling depression and you know, l they are on the lower points of, of their life, lives? I think things, everything comes in waves, you know what I mean? I think uh, the concept that nothing is permanent is very, very important. And that relates to lows and highs. Um, so like I think a lot of people, when you're in, in a deep place of depression, it kind of feels like it's going to last forever and there's nothing that's going to get you out of that. It's not not the case. Uh, talk to friends, talk to family, uh, get therapy, get help, whatever. You know, just do whatever you can that does make you feel even that little bit better because it's like I feel like those little ripples yeah, that's really turn into perfect. something yeah. bigger. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. So uh, a couple of days ago, you've also released a music video. <laughs> And, uh, well, it's, it's a great music video, obviously, but, uh, you know, the topic of the song is really uh, tough. And uh, on the other hand, the music video is slightly humorous. And yeah. Uh, yeah. why did you decide to combine it that way? I think in general, and we've never really touched on how much uh, behind the scenes, we're very comedic guys. We like to just joke around and have fun all the time. And we've never really gotten to apply that to um, our live show as much as we'd like to or into our music videos as much as we'd like to and we decided this this is a time for us to have a little bit more fun and show that you know there's um even people you know that going through dark times can also have a good time you know it's kind of uh um audible antidepressants as yeah. brandon likes to say a visual in this case you know yeah it's like it, it, there's so many so many times where a band is just you know like get in a room and look cool and that's your video and with a song that has such a heavy weight uh weighted concept to it 
almost seems redundant to make a really sad video, so flip it on its head and make the funniest, most ridiculous video we can think of. As like you said, it's like audio antidepressants, visual antidepressants. It's like we hope that if you're going through the same things we were going through when we wrote the song, this will also help you get through it, that much like it did the same. It does the same for us. You know, so. Yeah. And speaking of the video, it's it's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. It's not a standard video. You had to show some acting skills. There were some, you know, uh, shots underwater. Yeah. And uh, how was it to f to film it? So much fun. Yeah. Really I mean, the, the, I mean the, we shot that whole the whole video we shot in th four hours. Yeah. Um, really? In the middle of the night. Those wonderful women came. They were all over the age of sixty-five. They were in that pool. We, it was from eight p.m. to to three a.m. or two a.m. So it was like very late at night. There were troopers. They were learning how to synchronize swim. I didn't know that I could make up synchronized swim dancing. Learn that about myself. My kids are in the video. My my daughters are the two little really? girls we throw in the pool. Yeah. yeah. Just funny. Like it was so kind of chaotic mm -hmm. and we had an idea of what we wanted to do, but like not a real pattern or plan of how to get there. So we just like we're having a blast in a pool. Most of the time our drummer Kyle was just floating on a little floaty. Like yeah. for like four hours. Yeah, in between yeah. the shots, we would just be hanging out in the pool, just talking to the other people in the video and stuff, yeah. and just it was like a pool party kind of thing in between yeah. shots. So it was really fun. Do you nice. have any funny backstage story? Yeah, my daughter, she does this thing in school. She's in, in her choir class where she does. They clap, tap, 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 and then all the students clap to show that they're paying attention. So every time we would shoot her scene, we had to do it like seven or eight times to throw in the pool, and she'd be like, "No, no, no, wait, wait, wait." She's six. She'd be like, "Wait, wait, wait." And we all had to repeat. So when she knew we were paying attention, then it was okay to shoot. Yeah, yeah, it was cute. It was fun. And I know that uh, with that song, you're preparing your, fan, uh, your fans for some new music projects, mm -hmm. new music. And uh, what can we expect from that? Lots and lots yeah. of music. <coughs> we're going to be releasing uh, music a lot through the next year. So all I can say to our fans is um, buckle up because you got a lot coming. Yeah. Hey. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us like a little bit of a sneak peek? Um, there is at least one more song coming after Drowning. Yeah, I can say that much. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so we're waiting for at that. least one more. Yeah. And uh, I know you're tight on time uh, during that tour, so you probably didn't have a lot of time to sightsee. <laughs> we were planning on going out today after this stuff, uh, but now it's snowing. Yeah, that's true. The weather is, is yeah. uh, not really not really that good today. Yeah. It's pretty cold. Yeah. Well, it just means we'll have to come back so we can do yep. the sightseeing. Yeah, yeah. be tourists next time. Yeah. Uh, at least you need to try some Polish food or Polish drinks. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, 100%. So we will do that for sure before we leave. Yeah. Yeah, you need to uh, order pierogi. Pierogi. We had pierogi oh, yeah. last night at the it was at the hotel, so I don't know how good that is. What's like the good pierogi? What's the good like uh, Where do we go? Polish drink? Always drink well, obviously something with vodka, probably. Yeah, yeah. And uh, with the vodka, you need to eat uh, like this uh, soured cucumbers, like type of pickles. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's like the Polish Polish thing. Nice. Okay. Like pickles. Yeah. Genius. <laughs> All right. Any other yeah. food items besides pierogi? Oh well, it depends if you like meat or not. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Maybe you could try gołąbki. What's that? That's like meat. And it's stuffed into like a cabbage. Ooh, like cabbage rolls almost. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Gwampki. Like yeah, Gwampki. Okay. Gwampki. And Gwampki actually means pigeon. Pigeon. Okay. Yeah. So have We're some We're learning pigeon. multiple words here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Are good. there any words you want to know in Polish? Uh, I was learning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> you obviously know some curse words. But I, I think. No, we don't know any yet. Do you, uh, what's your favorite curse yeah, word that we could use? some good ones? Well, like the most popular is kurva, obviously. It's kurva? Like kurva. Kurva. It's kurva. like fuck. Fuck. Kurva. Kurva. I'm going to use that one quite a bit tonight. Kurva. Give me a kurva. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. We're learning so much yes. today. Yeah. Very educational. I want to make sure we don't say anything bad. I don't feel... So if you want to know like some good words, dziękuję is thank you. Uh, that's what I was looking up earlier. Dziękuję. Dziękuję. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So, perfect. Perfect. All right. So, yeah, thank you for finding the time to, to talk to me. It was Jean amazing. Yeah, yeah Jean Kulia, <laughs> thanks for teaching us curse words. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> thanks a lot. Appreciate thank you. It.